What's up guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. I know you were asking and I thank you. Guys, I have a little bit of a review to do today and it's gonna be the new She-Ra Princess of Power series that's on Netflix. Uh, I'm not going to go into extreme details because there's now four seasons and I'm not going to go into extreme details. I'm just going to go over some basic uh, likes and dislikes. It's going to be very basic. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to go over a few of the characters here. Now if you know the Masters in the Universe and She-Ra and all that stuff, there's 10,000 characters. I'm not going to go through all of them, probably. I'm going to read them off a list here because there's enough that I can't remember. So here we go. We have Adora. We have Bo. We have Glimmer, Catra, Hordak, Scorpia, Shadow Weaver, Entrapta, Lonnie, Swiftwind, Mermesta, Angela, Perfuma, Light Hope, General, Kyle, Frosta, Seahawk, Double Trouble, which is a new character you'll come into in Season 4. Horned Goon, Fluter, Casparilla, Hunter, Mara, Mesca. And you're going to go into a bunch of characters that are not quite as important there. Okay. So, here's the story, guys. Uh, I am an old school He-Man Masters of the Universe fan. I'm also a fan of the original She-Ra from the 80s. I didn't follow it as closely as I did the He-Man cartoon, uh, just didn't happen, but I did watch it periodically throughout its running. Um, it was a good program. Uh, it had things about it that I like over this one, namely, I'm going to say uh, the artwork and... Uh, not dumbing down male characters and even female characters. Uh, mostly the male characters, though. And you know that that's kind of a trend these days in Hollywood uh, is to dumb down all the male characters and to make all the female characters, you know, above them. Uh, so that's kind of an issue. If that bothers you, you might want to stay away from this. But if you can handle some of that and try to look past it, then, uh, yeah, I would go ahead and uh, watch the new series. Uh, again, with the new series, the first thing that threw me, uh, whenever I started watching it, was the animation. Now, like I said, the original had really good animation. Uh, there's something about that old school hand-drawn type of animation that just looks good. Uh, same with uh, the He-Man cartoon. Uh, there were certain moments in that that I just loved. The way that they would move and run. It just flowed. It looked good. It was beautiful. I love it. That's the kind of cartooning I love. Um, this new series with She-Ra is more kind of on the edge of anime. Um, I'm not going to say it's full-fledged. You know, full anime but it's kind of right on the edge of where you know how anime has the big eyes and the glowing eyes and the and the just you know how anime is I don't like anime I think it sucks my personal opinion I know it's really popular so that was the first thing that I had to get around whenever I started watching this and uh, as as a whole here I am at the end of season four I just finished it. <coughs> Please forgive me my coughing. I'm still sick. Um, but here I am. I'm at the, at the end of season four. I just finished it up. And I'm okay with the animation. No, I don't like it. But I'm okay with it. There are some cool looking characters in there that I personally do like. Um, one would be, I think Catra's done pretty cool. I think um, Shadow Weaver's done pretty uh, cool. And Trapta, I think she looks cool. Matter of fact, she's probably one of my favorite characters. And uh, she's not in it enough. Um, 
So those are probably my my favorite as far as the way that they're the way that they look. Uh, they they do stray from the originals, but I think that they look good. Um, I would like a little different type of art, uh, artistic direction in there. Um, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'll get off of that. Just know that it, that's your biggest shock is the way it looks. Uh, She-Ra definitely doesn't look the part uh, compared to the original. You're going to see that and you're going to be like, mm-mm-mm. But it's okay. Stick with it. And uh, my next thing I'm going to talk about are the characters. Now, I'm not going to go into great detail because, like I said, that's four seasons. I can't remember everything about them, all the little nuances, little bitty things here and there. But I can say that they are uh, expanding the characters nicely. They are giving you a good story on the characters. And you're seeing them progress. You're seeing them grow uh, through four seasons. Uh, you're going to see struggles. You're going to see... Uh, all kind of things, and I'm really surprised. I'm I'm actually pre uh, pleasantly surprised. As a matter of fact, um, really. Uh, and another thing I want to touch on is diff is the story itself. Now, whenever I watched the original Shira, of course I was young, and I haven't really went back and watched much of it over the years. You know, maybe an episode or two. Um, once every year or every five years, you know, I haven't really kept up with it. But I can say, without a doubt, that's one of my biggest surprises with this new uh, series is the story. It's really good. If you can get past the animation, the shocking animation of some of these characters, and if you can get past the dumbing down of male characters... Uh, you're going to see a really uh, well-written story um, for a whole cast of characters, and you're going to get a glimpse into all of them throughout the four seasons so far. I uh, hope they make more seasons. And I'll just say, and it's not a spoiler, but at the end of season four, there's definitely going to be a season five. So, yeah, I'm really surprised. I'm really happy with it I, I had my doubts at the at the beginning but I've been watching it really since it came out I think it came out in 2018 maybe 17 I don't know I forget you guys can look that up I'm not that particular um so yeah guys I think you would really enjoy it I think you should support it if you're a fan uh, if you're not a fan, if you've never even heard of it, uh, I would say watch this before you watch the original. And I know that's crazy for me to say because I'm such an old school fan. But I would say watch this one first. Watch the four seasons. And then go and and catch the original uh, she Princess Princess of Power from the 80s. Um, you can appreciate them both, and you ha and, and you need to keep in mind uh, uh, the time frame, the the time in which the original was released. Of course, it's dated; it's from the '80s. But what better decade is there than the '80s? Everyone loves the '80s, and that's just the way it is. The '80s had the best of everything, and I'm telling you that straight up. Now tell me, little Paul Abdul there. Anyway, if you were on the fence, don't be. Go watch it. I'll definitely say season four um, gets a lot darker, and I was really surprised. Uh, there's some cool character, uh, uh, well, at least one new character that comes in there. Uh, I will say the name is, what was it? Double Trouble. Let's see, yeah. The name is Double Trouble, and it's a pretty interesting character. And you're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of struggle and a lot of back and forth and a lot of twists and turns in this in the in season four. So.
so yeah anyway I'm cutting it short uh, it's not an extreme in-depth review and I hope that's okay but I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions just kind of on it uh, as an old school uh, He-Man and She-Ra guy how I feel about the new She-Ra animated series on Netflix I give it honestly if I can get past the animation uh, and if I can get past the dumbing down of some male characters uh, you know I, I'll give it I have to give it at least a four and a half out of five because it's I think it's just that well written <coughs> so anyway guys just a quick little video uh, thanks for watching I do all this for free no monetization no ads uh, I do it because I enjoy it. it gives me something to do uh, helps to fight depression anxiety and any other type of thing that you guys might be suffering from because I know it helps me out whenever I get to do it so guys, get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, and go check out this new series. We'll see you guys later.